Hey, fishing fans, it's me, Tony G. And I'd like to take just a few minutes out to answer a few questions with you. Some of the frequently asked questions I've gotten. Number one, we'll start off with this. Boy, am I excited. And that is this new pole here. What this is, it was built by a friend of mine. It's kind of a prototype. It's a pod. Uh, not a tripod. It's an aquapod. This holds my underwater camera from underneath the boat. See, you just open that up there and send it down and we can start filming the fish as we're winding them in or, or uh, and, you know, as, as just to see what's under the boat. And now I've already tried it out. I fished by myself. It was a little hard cranking the fish in and holding, the, holding this. So the, they didn't get real great footage of the bass. You'll see them in there. But I did get some really nice uh, footage of some sunfish. And uh, that was exciting. And I'll include that clip after this clip here. So um, we'll have that here shortly. Next question I get asked quite frequently is what kind of rods do I use? And I fish, whoops, I fish, am I making a mess? Yes. Uh, I fish pinnacles. I love pinnacle rods. This here is a seven footer. I'll bring it over there so you guys can see the writing on it. There, there she is. Yeah, fancy uh, at a budget price. Um, this here is a, a Scion. Love it. So this one's a little bit heavy. This is a worming rod here. Maybe a jig too. And um, like I said, this is a seven footer. You team that up with their Matrix bait caster. And ooh, what a combination. This is a pinnacle bait caster too. And I love it. Ball bear smooth. Yep. You put that on a and you're ready to fish anywhere. Love them. Pinnacle. Now another company I will fish with. I also like my Rocky Mountain Explorers. Here's a Rocky Mountain Explorer fly rod. Um, super high quality. This is IM6 modular graphite and it's an 8 foot 6 5 6, five, six weight and it's a super rod for a guy on a budget, and that's me. This is a great rod. Now, they also make spinning rods and spin casts. Here's one of their spin casts here. And once again, this is the Rocky Mountain Explorers. And uh, this is a Rocky Mountain Explorer spin cast. And it's a five foot six fiberglass rod. It's got five guides on it. It's a two piece rod. It's got a decent little spin cast reel, push button type. You can push the button in the back to make it cast. And this one here, if you fish five to ten times a year, this is the perfect rod and reel for you. It's going to last you for years. You take care of it, you clean it up, and uh, it's the way to go. So that's another rod that we use. I like my Rocky Mountain rods. Okay, and now. Another question I get is fishing line. What kind of fishing line do I like? I like monofilament. I like floral carbons. I fish mainly the monofilaments. Um, I've got some P-line here. I've got some Vanish here. Uh, we've got some Trilene up here. As you can see, I, I jump all over the different kinds of lines. Uh, I'm not a real big fan of braid, but I will use it occasionally. Braid has its purposes, and I do have some rods that have braid on it. Um, one of my craziest use of braids is on spinning rods, zero line twist, and it works real well on that. You just make yourself a monofilament leader to go with it, and uh, it works great for that. There we go. Okay, so that's the fishing lines that I like. So we covered the lines, we've covered the rods. The next thing we need to cover is the lures. You know that live target lures have got their new top waters coming out. There they are, walking the frog. I won't get my hands on any of these until November. 
So hopefully in November I'll have some of these. We can start filming with them. Of course, you know, November is not the greatest time for top water here in Arizona. But um, I do plan on doing a bunch of in-store promotions with them. So the Fisherman's Choice Pro Shop, uh, Sportsman's Warehouse, uh, maybe the Bass Pro Shop. Uh, I'm hoping to uh, come in, set up a table with some lures, let you all come look at them and talk fishing with you, which comes up to my next and, question. Uh, when you come see me at one of these promotions, we can talk fishing and I'll go into more depth with the details of the actual locations to where I'm fishing. So that's what I'm going to say to that one. Uh, other than that, I fish mainly your Salt River chains, you know, the Bartlett, Roosevelt, Pleasant, um, Saguaro. I've got videos. You know, I've been there. And uh, I, I, love, I love all the major lakes locally here. Um, and I even like our urban ponds, too. I've grown up fishing them. And uh, they're awesome also. So uh, um, that goes to the next one. The next question I had was, was Tony, do big lures catch big fish? And yes, they do. Small lures catch big fish also. But the bigger the lure, the bigger the fish. Usually the bigger the lure, the less bites you get per day. But when you do get bit, it's a quality fish. So with that in mind, we've decided to go out and we're going to try fishing this one. I got this popper here, and we're going to go try to catch a big one. Maybe uh, take this one up to Roosevelt, or maybe uh, Canyon Lake, or Saguaro Lake, and you do some popping for some big bass. Think this might work? Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think. So, uh, let me know if you think I, uh, oh, I might have to troll that one. That's a pretty big lure. I don't know if I can throw that one. So, hey, you all take care, and I hope to see you all soon. If you have any questions or comments or anything, put them in the lines down below. And uh, thanks for watching, and uh, God bless. We'll see you all soon. Enjoy the fish footage I'm going to show you next. Bye-bye.